what you'll do is you'll get the Signal Fire 2 app. Once you install it and, log and uh, open the app, you'll have to create an account. It will take you right through that process. It's basically just put email, a password, and then it asks for a name. And then um, once you turn on the fiber splicer, you'll have to connect via Bluetooth. I've already set this up. If there's any issue, get that set up. So I'm going to connect right now. I'm selecting the A19, remind connection succeed. And you can see right there, it says connection succeed. And on the fiber splicer itself, you'll see the Bluetooth symbol. Now, whenever you start this, you're gonna to have to do an arc calibration. Uh, to my understanding, what it does is it kind of takes in the elements of the environment and kind of man, uh, automatically adjusts according to that. So you always wanna do an arc calibration test. And in order to do that, you will select, well, let's make sure we're on the fiber type, which we're doing single mode. So that is already selected. If it was multi-mode, I would just um, select that one, but we're on single mode. And then to do the arc, you're gonna go to fiber splicing set, select running mode, arc calibration and the screen will change to the art calibration. Then you'll need to prep the, the fiber for the art calibration. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I got the fiber. And what I got is I got a this, this uh, splicer. It came with just a long piece of single mode fiber. Might be hard to see in this video, but I have it in my hand here. And what I gotta do, oh, another thing. So you'll see that little icon right here. It's a little arc symbol. That means that it's in calibration mode. So once you use the app and set it to art calibration, that icon will change to art calibration. Otherwise, if it's in normal mode, then it's ready to actually splice the fiber. Okay, so I'm just going to strip back uh, probably about an inch or so, maybe a little bit more of this fiber. I'm getting the sheathing, getting the glue off. It tends to build up in here. So you just poke it out or blow it out. Just strip it back a little bit at a time, getting that glue off. All right. And then I'm just going to use a couple squirts of that, of the alcohol, just to clean the fiber. Okay, now I'm going to cleave it. So I have this cleaver here. And what I'll do is I'll open it up. And there's a blade in there, but I'm going to rest it right in the little slot. And I'm going to line up where I cleat, where, where I cleaved back to, or where I uh, stripped back to. You'll see there's the raw fiber there. And then here's where the glue starts. I'm just going to put that right at the 10 mark. And then I'm going to shut that to hold it in place. Close that. And then hit this button and that cuts the fiber. I'm actually going to grab it here while I open it up. And then there's a little fiber trash container that I put that in. Okay, now that is cleaved. Oops. And the next thing I will do is I'll set it into here. Pull the tab up. I kind of get it close to uh, to where you'll see the little, where it will actually arc. I don't go completely in the middle, but I get it fairly close. Because I believe those things move around and it will adjust as long as it's with, within a threshold. And we'll close that down. And that one's in place. Then I'll just get the other side of this fiber, wherever that may be. And you can use any single mode fiber. I'm just using the one that came with it. So here it is here. I'll do the same process. Strip back the glue. Because ideally what you want to do is you want to get it so it rests across 
there's the blade right there. You want it to lay across from here to here so it it uh, it lays right on this pad here. So you'll need to strip off enough for it to do that. And I'll just do a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the excess glue. That's kind of just on it. All right, you can squeaky clean. Grab this cleaver. Put it right back in there. Usually I would do this on, uh, with it on the table, but just because I'm trying to do this on the camera. Okay, and it's laying across. Pretty straight. Close. Open that. Grab the piece of fiber that was cut and I'll throw that in the little dispenser. Okay, now both those sides are cleaved. Put that aside. Place this in here. Get it fairly close. Oops, that kind of went in crooked. There we go. All right, let's just see what happens. So I closed it. So it's doing the calibration right now, and that's going to say something. I noticed one thing that the Bluetooth, it looks like the Bluetooth got disconnected. So let me see about that. Okay, I'm gonna hold it while I do this. Hopefully it didn't get disconnected. Nope, okay, so I got the fiber in there. I'm gonna close it. It's in the arc mode, you can see right here. Pre-discharging, please wait. Fiber is moved, arc calibration in process. Please wait. Please wait, cleave fiber. Continue to do our calibration. Okay, so that's normal um, for you to have to recleave it. So I will do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have recleaved it. Fiber is moving. And I put it back in. Fiber is moving. Our calibration in process. Please wait. Our calibration succeed. Please restart the machine. Okay, and that's it. It says to restart the machine, so I will do that. Just press the power, and I turn it back on. So it doesn't splice the fiber, it's just doing some type of calibration. Again, you could use any single mode fiber for this. I'm just using the one that came with it for the time being.